What's the extent of the devastation you're seeing? Good morning, Deanne and Chris. Now that the sun has come up, we're able to safely move around and to show you that the situation at this mobile home community is worse than we imagined. I thought that only five homes were impacted, but take a look and you can see there are many more homes than that. I can see a trail of homes, one, two, three, four, five, it's like more than I would say 40, 50 homes that I can see right now. We are seeing cars here, just scenes of devastation, windows blown out, homes gutted. People have lost everything here. And we're seeing scenes like this all across earlier, about a mile away last night. One of our crews talked with another woman. She decided to not evacuate and she described how she watched the flood waters rise, just terrifying moments. Listen. I was scared, but I um, prayed a lot. All of a sudden, my bathroom started filling up. The, the, uh, the floors just started filling up real fast. We could not move. All the topes started floating. Everything was underwater. The water's about right here on me. And I started praying. I told my husband's freaking out, you know. I thought we were going to drown. And I said, God, this is not right. We shouldn't have to go like this. And thankfully, she's OK, but we know that there are a number of unknown fatalities as a result of Hurricane Ian. You're looking at just some of the devastation all across Fort Myers. You can see there's an incredible amount of flooding that occurred as a result of Hurricane Ian back out here live. It's just remarkable to be here to be standing in the middle of all this water and to see just how many people have been impacted. Now people are starting to come out here and to speak with us and to share their stories. You just heard from one woman at 645 and we're gonna have many more stories to share with you in the coming hours. I'll send it back to you. All right, we'll check in with Masa.